Hi, I'm Karina from Little Alien Nails and welcome to my channel. This is the first video I decided to record. What do I need to say? I thought it's about time I create the mini series to address all of your concerns about manicure and different struggles that you're facing. Hopefully I can help you to achieve those perfect Instagram looking nails and together we can fight your fears. So if you have any struggles or concerns in nail art, feel free to message me in the comments below and I will address your concerns in the future videos. Let's ignore the very first video that I did on this channel. In today's video, I would like to address the safe e-file removal process of hard materials such as poly gel and builder gels. I will share a couple tricks with you that I personally use to avoid damage of the natural nail plate and ensure that the removal process is done as smooth as possible. Moreover, we will create a stunning French with a 3D Rose encapsulated in your nail. It will be interesting. Let's go. My thumb was about to reach four weeks, so it's time for a makeover. To start off, I will be using this pedicure drill bit to remove the length. I get often asked, what is this tool? I will link it in the description below this video so you can get one as well. They are called sanding discs and are normally used in pedicures. I prefer to use this one instead of the regular drill bit as I think it is faster and it doesn't jump off the free edge like the normal bit sometimes does. I need to remove all of the length and all of the material as the design that I have planned for today needs a clean canvas. Once I'm done removing the length, I change my drill bit to the regular cone one to remove the rest of the material from the nail bed. If you look closely at the drill bit, you can see that it is marked blue and green. This drill bit is universal and it works both ways. If you have noticed, I'm left-handed and finding a good removal drill bit is quite hard. If you know any good removal bits, feel free to let let me know in the comments below, I will appreciate it. Going back to the drill bit, the green is coarser while the blue one is medium. I would recommend using the green removal bit for the hard materials such as poly gels and gels. It will go through hard material faster without heating up the natural nail plate. While the blue bit is good to use for soft materials or in my case I like to go against the flow with it to smooth the surface and remove the material where I know that it's close to the natural nail plate and I need to be extra careful to not damage it. Important points to remember, always remove the material at the maximum speed of the drill machine. Never stay at one spot for too long as it will heat the natural nail plate and will burn you or your client. And always use your pinky for balance. This way you will be able to control the pressure you apply and remove the material evenly. I always leave a thin layer of rubber base on my natural nail if there's no lifting. This way I avoid over filing my natural nail and ensure that it stays nice and healthy. Then using the nail file, I shape my nail and take away the glossy bit that grew out. Reapply the thin layer of rubber base and it's time to do the extensions. I chose to use paper forms for this video. Let me know if you need a tutorial on how to cut paper forms to fit the natural nail plate. Meanwhile, I'm applying a thin layer of clear builder gel going a bit over my natural nail as well. This will keep the form in place. For the design I have in mind, I will need different shades of the color that I want to use. In my case, it's blue. I've chose to use Royalty Collection by my Love Gels. The colors are well pigmented and I love all the shades of blue that it offers. The collection is called Royalty as each of the shade was named after one of English royalty family. I thought that was such a lovely touch. I blob each of the color on my palette. Now grab a thin brush and a clear poly gel cause it's time to do a 3D rose design. Design. This is one of those designs where it looks more difficult than it actually is, though it is quite time consuming, as you need to cure after each layer. Start off with the darkest color in the middle, that will be your flower head, then cure and follow up with the clear poly gel. Make sure to not go over the color edges with the clear poly gel, as that will leave a clear marks at the end result. For each of your rose petals, choose a lighter color as you go along, and after each color layer, keep adding a clear poly gel and curing it under the lamp. When drawing the petals, ensure that you layer them with the previous petals as well. This way you will have that 3D inlay effect. 
Keep going layering your petals alternating with the poly gel until you fill up all of the nail. Once you're done remove the sticky layer and it's time to file the French smile. For this you want to tilt the nail file a bit towards yourself. Imagine a 45 degree angle. This way you will get a perfect French smile every time. Now for our French I've chose the white and I'm using the white from my love gels as it's really pigmented. Apply it evenly in the thin layer over the clear gel that we've placed in the first step. You can also use a thin brush to help yourself out a bit. Now of course I'm not gonna leave it white. We grab this gorgeous blue shimmer from my love gel collection and apply it over the whole French fading it a bit towards the end. And of course we cannot leave it without glitter. Just look at that glitter. Grab a thin brush and apply it over the blue shimmer and lamp. And now we cover up the glitter and even out the nail. For this I'm going to use a clear builder gel. If you like to take your time and tend to work quite slow, I suggest you take the builder gel a bit on the thicker side. This will give you more time to even out the nail plate and you will not need to worry about the material leaking out. And now my favorite part, we can finally remove the paper shape. Now all that is left to do for us is to file the length and shape. For this I like to use the drill bit, the same that I used for the removal process. We place the full speed and go over the design. This is one of those trust the process kind of things, where you go over the top of the rose and even out the nail. Really your aim in this step is to smooth the surface so the top of the nail is nice and even. Then grab your nail file and work on the free edge, shaping the nail and removing excess length. Once we're done we should get something like this. You never know what you will get with the French inlays. Now we need to decide on the top coat. Last time I did the glossy one so this time I decided to go with matte. I really like how this design looks in matte and I'm really pleased with the outcome. What do you think? Would you get this design done on your nails? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts or if you have any suggestions for the future videos let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what other struggles you're facing when working with nails. If you want to see more nail art tutorial videos I recommend you check out my Instagram and TikTok accounts. Little Alien out. I'll see you next time.